So let's solve a couple of questions to see if we really understand this well. So I'm going to take 79 first and I, and I want you to uh, stop and solve this on your own and see what answer you get and how you thought about it and see if the both of us are thinking similarly. So when I look at 79 in my brain, I'm going, okay, 79 is bigger than 1, bigger than 5, bigger than 10, bigger than 50, but not bigger than 100. So I'll definitely need a 50 to denote this number in the Roman numeral. So I'll write an L. So now I know I've represented this 79 as 50 plus, maybe I should write the plus here, plus some 29. And I can forget about this 50 because I've already written L for it. Now I need to represent this 29. So what, what am I doing? I can I can forget that I started with 79 and all that. Now I, all I have to care about is 29 and whatever I get added to this. So I look at 29, do the same thing. Bigger than 1, bigger than 5, bigger than 10, but less than 50. So it's between 10 and 50. How many 10s are there? There are two 10s. So I'm going to write x, x. And now I know I brought this down to this 29. I've written it as 20 plus 9. And I can forget about this 20. Now I have 9. Now I have to look at 9 and ask myself, how do I write 9? And I don't have to care what came before that. All I need to care about is how do I write 9? And I know how to write 9. 9 is ix. That's how I write it. So I'm going to write 9 as ix. And I'm showing this separately. So you can see that this alone is written in the subtractive notation. So how do you read this number? You'll go 50 plus 20. That's 70 plus. Oh, when you come here, you'll be like, oh, this is not 21. But if this number had only been this much, you would have said, that's 50 plus 20 plus 1, 71. But then when I add this here, then you can see it's 1 less than 10. That's 9. So 79. And I hope you. this is the same thought process that you used as well or maybe a better one. This 49 is very interesting. I mean, I was tempted when I saw 49, my temptation was to write I L. Like, why not? One less than 50. It turns out that we do not do this. Like, like we said, we only use subtractive notation for these numbers, 4, 9, 40, 90, or 400, 900. So how do I think about this number? I can look at this number and go, okay, this is less than 50, greater than 10, and it has four tens in it. What is 40? And this is where it can get a little tricky at first. What is 40? I want. I know I have to write 40 as XL. So I'll write XL for 40. And then I know that I've written this number as 40 plus 9. And I've already shown what this 40 is. Now let's give a different color for 9. Now how do we, we don't, we can forget about this 40. That's what is XL over here. What is 9? I already know how to write 9. That's IX. So I write IX over here. So XL IX will be 49. 